Yes, sir, y'all. Listen, man. If you guys have been in the sneaker community and you've been in the game for a while, then you know 2012 was a time to be alive in the sneaker game. It was a time to be collecting in the sneaker game. When I talk about we got OGs after OGs dropping, we got shoes that we didn't think that would come back that came back. I feel like 2023, <laughs> they decided to come with the heat. And I'm not just talking about with Jordan Brand. You did. It's a couple Jordan 1 retros, and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go, L, place a bid, and hopefully I can just hit for L. Retro Wiz Kid, the shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the sneaker dudgeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today, we're going to be talking about some OGs that's going to be dropping a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and just going over 2023 in general when it comes to some of these Jordan releases, and it's other sneakers as well, regular Nikes, you know, you got collabs that's going to be dropping, New Balance has been on the rise, and people just been copping New Balances like crazy, but one thing I want to say is that Jordan Brand is... Try not to miss a beat this year. If you guys are new to the channel, it's y'all first time rocking out with your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid and the Sneaker Dungeon family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Join your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid and the Sneaker Dungeon family. We on the grind of 20,000 subscribers. 150 likes is the goal on every video. I appreciate all the love and support that I continue to get from each and every one of y'all. Make sure y'all drop a like on the video, man. It is free 99 and it helps the channel go a whole lot further. So with all that being said, let's jump into a a couple of sneakers that I feel like might make 2023 feel kind of like we back in 2012. So not only have people been waiting for this Cherry Air Jordan 12 to come back out, we finally find out holiday 2023. We have not seen these since 2009, man. And this is one that I honestly thought Back in 2012, they was going to spin these just because in 2012, we got a lot of dope Air Jordan 12s. I mean, we got the Obsidian 12s. We got the Playoff 12s. They bought the Playoff 12s back out last year. Then, of course, it was just like the year of 12s for 2012. We ended up getting the Cool Gray 12s, which I definitely think is an underrated sneaker. And people just, you know, they slept on it. But they really should have bought these back out. I feel like that was the time that it was perfect when I thought that they would bring it back out. Normally, Jordan Brand waits to spend a sneaker maybe like four to five years, sometimes with some of the OG colorways. And it's just been a long time coming. Folks is finna go nuts for these when it comes down to the holiday season for these bad boys right here. Still staying in that realm around that time, you know, 2011, we got these right here, the Playoff 13s. Another classic, OG, gotta have them. Y'all already know how people rocking out with these right here. Will these be a victim like the Bread 13s that came out before? Or like the He Got Game joints? I honestly just think that they spent those back too fast, and that's the reason why they didn't do as well as what people thought they were gonna do. I mean, when it came to the He Got Games, all they really could do was just change the materials up just a tad bit, either make the leather softer, you know what I'm saying? Or that's pretty much it when I think about it. The build of the sneaker was the same, in my personal opinion, from the same pair they dropped back then. And when it came to the Bread 13s, I mean, okay, you threw the reflector on the sneaker, Sneaker. That was dope. You didn't do that back in 2013. So, hey, nice. But I think that this one right here will be very well respected this time around. These will be dropping around All-Star Weekend, which I think will do a great deal of numbers, as well as we get in that OG Air Jordan 1, which it is the black and white colorway. Another classic, this time getting with that 85 cut. I feel like this one right here, of course, 85 cuts have been doing their thing. I honestly feel like the only 85 cut was the reverse bread that people didn't, I feel like it, it was hyped up, but then like the respect on that sneaker dropped tremendously. But for the rest, of them i even feel like the georgetowns did better than those but a lot of people will be going after that black and white pair as well and y'all already know man the hype of the pandas and everything perfect time to capitalize with jordan brand to release those just because we talking playoffs man we have the playoff eights right here now 
I would like to see retro card. I would like to see material, shape. I like to see everything that they can do to make this sneaker feel more like the OG and bringing that jump back to make people pay homage to such a dope sneaker right here. I'll never forget that this was one of my first few eights that I ever owned. The ones that I got came out like in 06, 07 time frame, and I actually got them stolen. So I was like, and so when I was able to get another pair when these came out, you know your boy had to pull the trigger on these. This was the wave, man. These and the Aqua Ace, when they dropped, everybody was rocking these back in the day, at least for me where I'm from. And, you know, I feel like this one right here, very respectable Jordan. Y'all already know what time it is, man. A lot of history with the Air Jordan 8. But the Air Jordan 8, I feel like it's kind of like the Air Jordan 7. I mean, when the Chrome 8s came out, another classic, the last time they released, people slept on them and they just on them, which, you know, I'm... I guess it's it, OG heads gonna respect this though. They gonna respect it. Another one we got dropping will be the Reimagined Air Jordan 3 White Cement. Now this one right here being from 2000 and. 10 11 era right here these are a little bit older a little bit beat you know you guys can see i got the cracks and everything on these bad boys but i do got that reimagined tab back there even though it's not nike air i do have the air jordan 3 free throw lines but i feel like those having that icy bottom and these right here having no nike air it's only a must i get this one and i know it's not the way that a lot of people would say well it's not looking like a true og i dig the vibes of them saying that this is an age one and it's a real imagine type vibe i dig the little coats on it making it look like that because eventually the sneaker will look like that i do feel like it is i think that i like these a little bit better than i like the way that they did the air jordan one lost and found but i haven't seen them in hand yet but those are definitely one that i feel like it's a must cop all of the ones that i'm naming off in this video i feel like are going to be ones that everybody's going to end up wanting to go after it's a must thunder fours not an og but this will be the third iteration of the Thunder 4 coming out. Back again, I will never forget when we got those Bread 11s for Christmas back in 2012. We had got these the very next day. You feel me? And these right here being the Thunder Jordan 4. And I wish they would have did what they said back in the day because the rumor was that we would be getting the Lightning 4s back that next year 2013 or something like that it took them a hell of a long time to bring back that thunder four it took them a hell of a long time to bring back that lightning four and they spinning back this thunder four a whole lot quicker i feel like and i mean it's only right you finally drop the lightnings go ahead and give us a fresh pair of thunders i mean my pair right here is in really good condition still man and you know i've worn them but y'all already know the vibes man i gotta cop another pair of them thunders when they drop i want to see the shape i want to see the feel of the materials i want to see what they change on the sneaker as far as the aesthetics and how you how it feels with the comfort all that good stuff man because each year i feel like jordan brand some sneakers like some fours they're more comfortable and it's depending on what year they came out and that's just me i mean comment down below let me know if you guys feel the same way now one that they said we was rumored to get but i have not seen any real news on this but this will make 2023 outstanding and that is the military blue four we definitely need the nike air on the back of these it's only right it's been a very long time since we've seen these it's been 11 years since the last time these came out and to this day i'm still mad that i traded my double up for one of those five lab threes or three lab threes whichever one it was called i got the black one um I shouldn't have did that, but, you know, I did that back then. At that time, that shoe was going for a little bit more than these. But, I mean, you know, live with no regrets, but that's one that I do regret because I wish I had kept that dead side pair of these. One that we already knew was going to happen, and that was the DMP 11. Now, this right here being the last release of the Concourse, this is one that they will always spend. We're getting the DMP this time. I mean... I kind of felt like it was one that could come just because we ended up getting the DMP 6s. So I only think that it's right that they actually give us that. Then we got the Neapolitan 11 joints that I saw that will be coming out. And we'll see how that goes, man. But I definitely feel like the DMP 11s, so that might be another double up for the year. Stepping out the round, we do have kobe's now one thing that i will say we have that reverse grinch that's supposed to be dropping and when i say 2012 look if you was in the sneaker game in 2012 you already know that's back when all the basketball sneakers was in kobe's you had the k 
KDs that was jumping back then. You had the LeBrons that was going hard back then. I mean, it was just a time, Jordans. It was crazy. Every weekend you had something dropping, whether it was a Kobe, whether it was a LeBron, whether it was a KD. Now, I don't really, I don't really mess with KDs no more. I do have a pair of KDs, but I just feel like this year they're stepping up the game as far as LeBron as well because LeBron, I mean, starting off the year with those fam you, you know, Gorge Green joints, that was a crazy sneaker. And I feel like I have not liked LeBron's. I'm not like the biggest LeBron fan when it comes to sneakers, but there are a few that I would love to have inside my arsenal. And it's just that every time they come out, either I don't get them and it's like, dang, do I really want to pay resale for a LeBron? That's why I feel like, you know, this year we're getting a lot of good sneakers as far as that. And I feel like if they step the basketball game up, bring it back, man. That was a time. 2012 was a time to be in the era of sneakers. So looking really forward to seeing that reverse branch. Now let's talk about different collabs. Of course, we got the I'm on Year collab coming out. You get UNC 5s dropping, Burgundy 5s. Burgundy 5s not being an OG, but one that a lot of people respected from back in the day. I feel like they're going to be like Green Bean 5s. I feel like people are going to disrespect them and do them kind of like how they did the Green Bean 5s last year, but only time will tell. Of course, we got some 7s coming out. We have a lot of sneakers that I feel like when it comes to like New Balance and stuff like that, New Balance been killing the game. I got to add a pair of New Balance or two into the collection this year and see what the hype is about it. I haven't had the comfort of those. You take back some of the classic New Balances like you know, I've had pairs of those, and Comfort has always been good to me, I feel like, with the older New Balance, but I want to see what they're doing with the newer versions of the sneakers, because I haven't had a pair of New Balances in over 10 years, easy. Now, when it comes down to Adidas, I really don't know what Adidas is going to do this year. We're going to keep it above, man. I mean, they say, rumor has it, that it's a possibility we could get Pirate Blacks, and I mean, not having Yeezy's name on it, but let's be honest, all them shoes that they've been showing, at least mock-ups, them shits look like the regular Yeezy, so it is what it is. Some people will buy them, some people won't. I'm going to let you know right now, if they drop them Pirate Blacks, hey, I got to try to get them things in the arsenal. I ain't got nothing to do with what Kanye does in the news and all the stuff he be talking about, but when it come down to them Pirate Blacks, that was an era of sneakers where I was not able to get that. Every time I tried, I couldn't get them, and I... <laughs> I still need the turbo doves, man. I still need the turbo doves from last year, but it is what it is. But 2023, we got a lot of good heat dropping. Comment down below. Let me know y'all's thoughts and opinions on what collabs y'all looking forward to. We got the Nike SB collab with the Air Jordan 4s. Them things looking dope. You know, it's a lot of sneakers that they bringing out this year. And every year they bring out a lot of sneakers. Every year I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna cop this many, da 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 But you already know how the game go when it comes to this sneaker culture. When you love the game and you love love shoes and it's just always the three every time i feel like every time i get a new sneaker it's like the very first sneaker that i ever got and until i lose that passion like that i feel like i'm gonna be in the long run for being in this game because it's just like i always get super passionate about getting a sneaker that i want getting the colorway that i want seeing what they do with the differences in them and you know that's the love of the game and i also like to wear my sneakers so y'all already know the vibes comment down below let me know y'all's thoughts and opinions on 2023 i might not have named all the good sneakers that will be dropping but i just touched on a couple of them because when i was just sitting here thinking today i was just like man 2023 feeling like 2012 we getting a lot of good heat so far this rumored that happened and the ones that we know that are fully confirmed now i'm gonna tell you right now the military blue forest drop it's ov for 2023 i'm gonna have to really say it's definitely a repeat but y'all already know the vibes, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. 150 likes of gold on the video. I appreciate all the love and support that I continue to get from each and every one of y'all. Until the next one, peace, love, and Laguna Beach. And we out this thing. Get it! It's a couple Jordan 1 retros, and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go, L, place a bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever.